Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the California Angels and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Angels today is Bruce Keeson, whose record is 5-13 with a 6.98 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Tom Filer, whose record is 6-2 with a 3.63 ERA. So we lost our fourth game in a row yesterday, and uh, I don't know how we're going to get out of this slump. Our starting pitchers have been horrible. Uh, Petrie gave up five runs in five innings yesterday, and then the bullpen, uh, again, definitely overused, had to come in, pitch multiple innings, and they broke down, uh, which they've been pretty solid all year. But, um, again, the last... Uh, Two series that we've played, uh, going back to the Rangers series, the bullpen has been uh, beat up a little bit. So, uh, a terrible game yesterday. The only plus was uh, Howard Johnson hit his first career home run, which was pretty cool. And then uh, Ricky Henderson hit home run number 13. And Eddie Murray did get three hits yesterday. So, uh, maybe he's breaking out of his... Um, slump since joining the Tigers. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get today's game started here momentarily. I did forget to show you the California Angels uh, main page yesterday. And as you can see here, that son of a bitch, Frank Tanana, he is injured. We're going to miss him uh, this series and perhaps uh, the next week's series too. Yeah, I think he's out for 20 days still, uh, 19 days. So we're not going to see him uh, maybe at all this season. And um, and Mike Witt, who is a starting pitcher for them this year, although he is a rookie, I think he's going to be out one more day. So I don't know if we're going to see him in the final game of the series. We could, possibly. Uh, there's the top prospects. You see the expiring contracts. And if you take a look down here, you'll see um, their uh, team leaders and finances and all that great stuff. So, okay, let's get going with the ball game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe. Dave Smith will not be available today. Uh, we had to use him for multiple innings. So we're down a right-hander in the bullpen. Uh, Tom Filer has not faced any California Angels batter. And uh, so we'll see how he does today in his uh, first go-round with the Angels. Our lineup against the righty, Bruce Keeson. It's kind of a cobbled together lineup. Sweet Lou and Ricky Henderson are both listed as tired, so we're going to give them a rest today. Kevin Bass will be in center field. Greg Brock will be back at first, moving uh, Eddie Murray to the DH position. Guy Salars, he will be at second base, uh, getting his first start at second this year for Detroit. And, uh, yeah, and there's your lineup for... Oh, and uh, Andre Dawson in there at right, so... Okay, let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the California Angels. Batting leadoff in center field is Gary Pettis. Batting second in right field is Mike Brown. Batting third at third base is Carney Lansford. Batting cleanup and DHing today is Daryl Sconyers. Batting fifth and catching is Brian Harper. Batting sixth at first base is John Harris. Batting seventh at shortstop is Steve Lubertich. Batting eighth at second base is Bobby Gritch. And batting ninth in left field is Don Baylor. Let's take a look at the defiler, Tom Filer. Uh, actually been pitching pretty good. He's got two wins in a row. He was the last starter to get a win. Uh, you see here he's making his 14th start of the season. 6-2 and two with that 363 ERA. Uh, walking more lately than I'd like to see. Uh, he does have 33 strikeouts in those 72 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 292 against him. So not really great numbers across the board with the exception of the uh, win-loss, which is what counts, I suppose. Take a look at his log here. You'll see two wins in a row. Had no walks and no strikeouts in his last 
start against the Rangers. Um, and really uh, pretty solid both of those starts. Uh, previous to that, he had that one game where he got blowed up by the Red Sox. So, okay, let's take a look at the Tigers' defensive alignment. Center field, Kevin Bass out there. Definitely not as strong in center field as Ricky Henderson. We do not have one gold glover in the uh, li uh, defensive lineup today. So maybe the first time all year we haven't had a defensive uh, gold glover in the field. Okay, here is Gary Pettis leading off against Tom Filer, betting 243 versus right-handers and a base hit in the center field. And the leadoff man is on. Oh, he stretches it into a double. Gary Pettis, well, at least we don't have to worry about him stealing second base on us as he gets his 11th double so far this season. Okay, Pettis in scoring position. Speed kills in this game, man. Here's Mike Brown. Brown sending a fly ball out to Gibby in the left. I don't think Pettis will tag up. Nope, he holds. There's one down. Next up is Carney Lansford batting 291 overall. Slow roller to third. That'll hold Pettis as Hatcher throws out Lansford at first. Filer, one pitch away from getting out of this inning. Daryl Scott here's a lefty's up and a grounder to Hatcher at third, and Hatcher makes the play. Okay, we go to the bottom of the first inning. Here's the Tigers' official lineup rundown for today's ball game against Bruce Keeson. Batting leadoff in center field is Kevin Bass. Batting second at first base is Greg Brock. Batting third and DHing is Eddie Murray. Batting cleanup at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting sixth and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting seventh in right field is Andre Dawson. Batting eighth at shortstop is Mark Wagner. And batting ninth at second base is G. Solars. Let's take a look at Bruce Keeson here having a rough season, five and 13 with a, almost a seven ERA. That probably means he's gonna pitch the lights out today. 26 more walks than strikeouts. 136.2 and he's pitched a post batting 300. This guy's just been beat all year long. He does have uh, two complete games. He's got a shutout. His fastball tops out around 87 miles an hour. And his four seam fastball is his best pitch, which is just average at 80. He's got a slider, he's got a terrible curveball. Overall, his rating is below average at 78. He's a 32-year-old. He's still under contract until 1985 for these Angels. So they are on the hook for three more seasons after this year. Okay, here is uh, the defensive alignment. Again, Don Baylor out there in left field. A liability for sure. Defensively, otherwise, they're pretty solid. Here is Kevin Bass. Leading off for Detroit against Bruce Keeson, and he flips it up in the air into the left field. Curling foul and caught by Baylor. One down. Greg Brock up next, 0 for 3 in his career against Bruce Keeson. Hits a grounder to first. Harris makes the play. Two down. And then Eddie Murray, who's on a little bit of a roll now, still does not have an extra base hit in a Tigers uniform and he grounds out to Lansford and that'll do it we go to the top of the second inning Brian Harper followed by Harris and Lubertich Harper steps in and gets a base hit into center field and an error by Bass allows Harper to go to second base so the leadoff man is on again and in scoring position. John Harris up next with a ground ball to first. That'll get Harper over to third. One down. We're going to pull the third baseman in. Mickey Hatcher in case um, 
it's a grounder to Hatcher. Otherwise, that run will probably score. Ground ball to second. That'll score the run. And it's 1-0 California. Give an RBI there to Lubertich. Bases are empty now for Bobby Gritch, who strikes out swinging. First K for Filer. We go to the bottom of the second inning. 1-0. Angels. Here's Mickey Hatcher leading off. Hatcher in a little bit of a slump, down to 315. He gets the Tigers' first base hit, going oppo into right field. Runner on first. Here's Gibson. Gibson bidding to be the first Tiger to hit 20 home runs this season, and he walks. So Gibson not getting on base a lot by base hit, but he is definitely walking uh, more often. First and second, Lance Parrish up, three for nine in his career against Keeson, due for a big hit. And a base hit into right field. Hatcher, he should hold it third. He does. And that's going to leave the bases loaded for Andre Dawson, who has been uh, in the doghouse. I mean, we need a big hit from this guy. We'll give him more starts if he can come through here. Oh, he strikes out on a pitch right in the sweet spot, too. Look at that right there. That was the four-seam fastball. Big hunk of meat. And he strikes out swinging. And... Uh, now we need Marky Wags to come through. This feels like a double play situation. Yeah, there we go. This is why we're losing, folks. We are not able to convert on a bases loaded, nobody out situation. Okay, we go to the top of the third. Here is Don Baylor leading off. Baylor, comebacker to Filer. Filer tosses him out, one out. As we go back to the top of the lineup with Gary Pettis. He had a base hit first time up. Grounder this time to Brock. Two down. And then Mike Brown had a homer in yesterday's ball game. And he goes deep to right field for his 14th on the season. And it's 2-0 Angels. And with two down, Lansford hits it back to Filer. And the Tigers find themselves down two runs. We are just absolutely... I mean, how can we not get something going here against Bruce Keeson? The guy's one of the worst pitchers in baseball. Solars flies out to center. Kevin Bass goes opposite field on a line drive caught by Baylor. Playing left field like Clemente out there. And then Greg Brock pops it up. Going to the fourth inning. Daryl Sconyers leading off. Sconyers had a home run yesterday. And there's a double into the gap. Leadoff man on. Three out of the four uh, innings. The leadoff man started off in second base. That's uh, seventh double of the season for Sconyers. Brian Harper up next. Hitting a fly ball to right. Sconyers holds. Hawk gets it in quickly out there in right field. One down. John Harris up. Harris has an RBI today. Popping it up on the infield as Solars makes the play. Two down. Here's Steve Lubertich. And, of course, he gets a double off the wall. Run scores. It is three to nothing, Angels. That is Lubertich's 19th double on the season. And there is absolutely nothing we can do. Gritch flies out to right. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Murray, Hatcher, and Gibson are due up. Murray can't even get it out of the infield. One out. 
Here's Sticky Mickey going oppo, flying out to right. That's five in a row for Keeson. And Gibson flies out to left. Again, 5-13 and 13 with a 7 ERA, and he's throwing a sh two-hit shutout against us right now. Don Baylor leading off the top of the fifth, popping it up in the foul ground. And Hatcher drops the ball in fair territory somehow. Second error by the Tigers today. Bass had the other. So the leadoff man is on again. What a surprise. As Pettis hits a grounder to third. It's going to be possible to double him up. We do get the lead runner at second. So there's one out. For Mike Brown. Brown went downtown. In his last at bat. Here's a grounder to Hatcher again. And there's a double play. Good job by Hatcher going around the horn. Making up for his error. He's been good this year defensively. I mean, I don't think his, um, I don't know, maybe his numbers won't reflect that, but I don't feel like he makes a ton of errors. A ton of costly errors, anyway. Lance Parrish leading off the fifth inning with a base hit in the center field. Second time Parrish has been on today. Here's Dawson, who absolutely puked in the batter's box. With the bases loaded, we're going to hit and run. Try to steal the double play. I have no faith in this working. Yeah, I pop it up. Couldn't even hit on the ground ball uh, on the ground just to get a parachute to scoring position. We've got nothing, folks. Oh, except for Mark Wagner, who uh, I think if we'd played Mark Wagner as a starter all year, as he gets an RBI double, he might be leading the team in doubles. He's got 11 doubles. That's as many as Ricky Henderson. And, uh, I mean, he's batting 287 with a 774 OPS. You can't ask for much more than that from a backup uh, utility guy, right? So good job by Wagner. We are on the board. Let's see if Solars can do something. Anything. Ground ball to first. Well, that'll get Wagner over to third. And give Kevin Bass a chance to... Uh, get us within one bass over two today betting over 400 in his last 20 ball games and he hits a grounder to lubertich it's short and that'll do it so at least the tigers won't be shut out as we go to the top of the six let's take a look at the in-game stats oh uh, yeah Parrish two for two today i mean probably player of the game so far filer only at 60 pitches i mean May as well throw him back out there. A lot of righties in this lineup, so at least I feel like, um, you know, we can could probably go seven. Lansford flies out to center, and then he walks Sconyers. Only his first walk today. <clears throat> Other than a couple bad pitches, he hasn't been horrible, I suppose. Ground ball, hard hit to... Uh, Hatcher at third, and he turns a double play. Nicely done, Hatcher. All right. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. we got two, three, and four due up. These guys have got to come through. Only 54 pitches for Keeson. Now 60 after the Brockett bat as he flies out the center. So both pitchers have been efficient. God damn it. Eddie... Murray sucks. Not one single big hit for Murray this year. And Hatcher flies out to center. We're hanging in there though. We're only down two runs, going to the top of the seventh. We need a we need a big, big hit here. Let's see if Tom Filer can keep us in the ball game. May has a nice slider for strike three on John Harris, his second K today. Steve Lubertich walks. You get a strikeout, you give up a walk. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me, folks. Okay, runner on first. Bobby Gritch. Ground ball to first. Could it be another double play? Three innings in a row with a double play. That one's a dude the hard way. 3-6-1. 
We go to the bottom of the seventh. Gibby, Parrish, and Dawson up. We are we are a team that looks great on paper. Gibson walks again. Second walk today. I wish Parrish could hit and run. That is just not his ball game. 75% chance of stealing second. We're going to take that chance. Because we know Parrish is not going to hit a home run. And Gibson steals second. His 19th of the season. 19 out of 30. Not a great ratio. But he is in scoring position with nobody out. A base hit by Parrish will bring us one run closer. Okay, well that's a fly ball to deep right field. Gibby will tag on that, take third. And Gibson now, 90 feet away from getting us within a run. Come on, Dawson. Just hit it to the outfield, dude. No, come on! Popping it up. Dawson is horrible. What is his uh, his OPS? It's 587. Five is o his odd base percentage is 252. Wagner flies out to right. Again, missed opportunity. Only four hits against Bruce Keeson. We go to the top of the eighth. Tom Filer. Um, I mean, should I take him out? I'm, I mean, we're going to go with him another inning. Why not? As Don Baylor flips it down the right field line, I guess that's why not. Baylor no longer has speed. It's just a single. Probably could have stretched that into a double in the younger days. Um, <clears throat> Will Pettis bunt? I'm going to pull in third. Just in case. Pet Pettis, the one of the worst, one of the lightest hitters in all of baseball, could get it to the outfield. But not Andre Dawson. Nonetheless, it's just a fly ball to right. Let's see if we can get our fourth double play in a row here with Mike Brown. Don Baylor! I made fun of his speed and he steals second base, his first stolen base on the year. Had 12 last year, and that is only his first one in scoring position for Mike Brown. Should I walk him to get to Lansford? I mean, no. We're already down two runs. I mean, another run scored isn't going to make a difference. Well, that is a really slow roller to first. That ball didn't even make it that far. I, I don't think I've ever seen one die like that. Uh, it is an out as uh, Baylor takes third. So here's Carney Lansford. Filer at 93 pitches. Has Filer gone 100 pitches? Once. This season. All right. Let's see if he can get out of this. Striking him out. Nicely done. That'll probably do it for Tom Filer. Um, I mean, he had a couple bad pitches, but it wasn't the pitching today. That's going to talk, uh, cause the Tigers to lose. It's certainly going to be the batters. Um, we're going to let Solaris swing away. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Hey, there we go. Base hit down the line. This is where the game teases us. I guess we're going to go for 3. And Solaris is out at third. 90% chance, it said. Instead, it's just a double and an out. And that'll probably be the ball game right there. Well, Kevin Bass gets a base hit. Runner on first. One out. Brock takes strike three looking. Now here's a chance for Murray to be a hero. Perfect timing for a long ball. Bruce Keeson on the verge of throwing a complete game against our offense. The worst pitcher in the American League. And he jams Murray, and that's the ball game. Five losses in a row. Oh, we're going to the ninth inning. It's not over. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you know what? That's my bad. 
I don't have my head in the game today. Oh, we're going to bring in Dave Rucker. We haven't pitched him in a while. Actually, Keith Comstock has surpassed um, Rucker in innings pitch. When was the last time he pitched? August 7th, and it's the 17th. So, uh, yeah, we haven't had a reason to pitch him. Um, just because of the matchups, and of course, we've been losing. So I haven't really had a reason to bring him in. At, I mean, a rookie gets a base hit off of him. It's, yeah, this game, unbelievable. Bring in Weaver. Turn two, there we go. Okay, now <laughs> we're down to our final at bats. Oh, whatever. Mickey Hatcher, of course, hits a home run. And I'll probably give him player of the game at this point. Bringing us within a run. That's the way the game teases us. If I hadn't been... Uh, a, a third walk for Gibson, that's insane. Um, if I hadn't been so stupid before in the eighth and just left with uh, so large with a double... Um, I guess we're going to let Parrish swing away. We can't hit and run here. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea what to do. That's yeah, a ball game. Dawson absolutely killed us today. We lose 3-2. And Greg Brock is done for the season. Folks, I hate to be a pessimist, but this season might be over now. I know we have a one-and-a-half game lead, but there is nothing we can do right. Um, and we're playing terrible teams. I mean, we're not even playing. Uh, we just got our ass kicked by Bruce Keeson. Let's take a look at the standings. So we're at one-and-a-half games up on... Uh, the Yankees. Seattle now in the lead, up by one and a half games. That's incredible. Kansas City, I don't, like, even if we lose and don't uh, make the playoffs, at least we're not as horrible as Kansas City. They were up over 10 games, and uh, they totally mismanaged their team. This is doesn't make any sense, because Ron Say was injured yesterday. Now they're sandwiching Greg Brock in the middle there. Okay, so um, let's take a look at our lineup. Greg Brock, done for the year. 108 games. I mean, he did it 17 home runs. Uh, I mean, only batted 230 for us. And uh, I guess, I don't know what to think about that. I guess we'll go ahead and move um, Eddie Murray into first base. That's an easy th thing to do. And then uh, Lou, Lou will go back to second. Ricky will go in there uh, into center field. And uh, Eddie Miller into right. And our DH will probably be Kevin Bass. And who are we going to call up? Um, I guess we're going to call up Barbaro Garbay. He's our first baseman. And... Um, Hitting really well in AAA, 500 at bats, 15 dongs, batting 271. Not great defensively, not great offensively, but uh, he did get a little PT last year. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and give him a a call up. He would have got called up anyway, um, and we'll go ahead and move him down to the uh, IL. And uh, Trammell, 26 more days. I don't think we're going to be in it in 26 days. We'll change the lineup tomorrow. We won't worry about that. There's our pitchers. I mean, not the worst job uh, by Tom Feiler. Let's pull up the box score. Another one-run game in which we lost. Player of the game is going to be Hatcher. He hit the home run. Um, I, I, I'm going to own this one as a loss. Uh, I 
I mean, I know it's a 90% chance for a triple for Guy Solars. But if we had just left him at second base, if I would have thought it through, um, that might have been the run number two to give Hatcher the uh, home run to tie it. Uh, the errors didn't help. Our defense had a lot of double plays. How many was that? Two, three, four? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, four. They had four double plays. Um, father takes a loss. Uh, like I said, good job by him. Goes to six and three. <laughs> and Bruce Keeson uh, with his ERA still 6.6. But pitches a complete game against our offense. All right, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with uh, game three of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.